Hello YouTube! I am Pinstar and this is Two Point Hospital Strategy and Tactics. So a long while ago, I uh, uh, my very first guide for this game was for the ward. I called it the Power Ward. And um, I stand by its design even today, but some mechanics of the game have changed and rendered it slightly obsolete. So today I'm going to present you an updated version of the Power Ward. Um, so what is the Power Ward? Well, the Power Ward is a particular design of the ward that I think maximizes throughput and um, um, cure and d diagnostic percentages um, while still keeping itself to a fairly modest uh, footprint. So the power ward is constructed thusly. You want to start with a 4x5 uh, block here and make sure that you leave room on the wider side of the uh, thing. Either side will do. Um, you want to place the door on one of these in-between boxes. Not the middle here, it has to be this one or this one. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and place that there. Next, we're going to, uh, we have to place a nurse station. We're going to place this right next to the door with the nub facing away from the door, like so. Uh, we're going to circle back to the screens. For the beds, what we're going to want to do is we're going to have six of these. Um, we want, see how there's the longer, the, the longer bottom of the bed, the, the green uh, uh, blanket there? You want the blankets facing towards the middle. The first bed you want here in the corner, but up one square like that. Now flip it around and place this one thusly. Now give this enough space uh, so that there's, um, you know, people can get in between these two. And then less space in between these two because they're going to be able to access them on either outside here. And then one more bed over here and then we mirror it one more time, leaving some space down there. Now, uh, make sure these beds that you've placed are scooched perfectly against the wall. That's important um, in, in a moment here, because now, now we need to place our screens. And yes, I said screens, two of them. Uh, one of the mistakes a lot of people make when making a ward is they only put down one changing screen. That limits the throughput of the patients because everybody coming in has to get uh, uh, changed into the ward clothing, get in bed, get out of bed, get changed back into their normal clothing, and only having one screen will restrict the flow through there. So, whoops, two of them, one opposite each of the beds, like here. Um, now then, that's, uh, that's, that's, that's the basic shape, and the basic shape has not changed from the original power ward. What has changed, however, is the accoutrement, the, uh, the helpers, the additives. Um, so next up, we're going to get medicine cabinets. We're going to have four of these things. We're going to place them in uh, each of these two spaces that we left for ourselves and in the space up here. This, these two will not restrict people from getting into these two beds. Now for the real big change um, that, that happened uh, since I originally made the video, wall monitors. Wall monitors used to have a conflicting footprint with the beds. You could not hang them over the beds um, and thus they were of limited use. I think I was able to squeeze one wall monitor into the original uh, power ward. Not so anymore. Now, wall monitors are important for the same reason medicine cabinets are important. Both of them give you plus 1% diagnosis power and treatment power. And since the ward diagnoses and treats people, the every ounce of these bonuses are worth it. Um, and also since there's no machinery that you can upgrade, you rely on, on these plus your staff uh, skills entirely to make your ward work effectively. So we're going to be placing down three of these on each of this side right here. One, two, and a three. We can place one here, one, two here in the middle, one more over here, um, and then we can place one more over here. This is actually the place for the original one wall monitor that I could actually fit in. Um, and that, my friends, is, is the wall monitor. So between all of these, one, two, three, four, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15% in total bonuses for any staff member working in um, in the ward just for walking in, just from the items, never mind their own natural skill. 
Um, now this does cut out um, our ability to place some of the other things like the coffee maker and whatnot, but that's okay. Uh, we should still be able to squeeze in a hand sanitizer around here if I remember correctly. If not, that's okay. Nope, nope, I, I cut that from my original design. Um, hand sanitizer is nice, but not super critical. Uh, if you have a temperature fixture, radiator, uh, that can be squeezed in between these two. Um, and then last but not least, we have our gold star wards to bump up the prestige and also uh, uh, create some attractiveness. Because while all of these items are functional, none of them create attractiveness. Uh, so we want to place a few of these and we might as well try to bump the room up to a level 5 prestige. You don't need it, but it's still nice to have. Uh, place one uh, behind each of our medicine cabinets here. They still have full effect even though they're kind of hidden. Uh, and then squeeze uh, two here into the corners. These are surprisingly small game okay. nope all right i scooched it too far over but we can place a couple more over here um we should have enough you should have enough room to get yourself to a level five prestige um so here you have a uh, fully kitted out ward for only 27.5 which might seem like a, a lot in the beginning but for the amount of weight this thing can pull it's worth it oh one other thing i forgot so uh, this ward works most efficiently when there are two nurses. I mentioned that in my original video, but I never showed you how to get two nurses to work in here. Uh, so for those of you who might not know, uh, if you once you've uh, completed the, the ward here and we click on it, we want to go to the stats and down here, extra staff plus one. Um, this will tell the room to summon and try to maintain two nurses at all time. Of course, they'll be allowed to go on break, but once one goes on break, the other can still keep working and the building will summon, summon a, another nurse to replace them. You can also, once you, your, your hospital gets larger, um, uh, say specific wards are allowed to diagnose only or treat only, so you can sort of organize them that way. But in the beginning, you only need one ward and you might as well make it do both things. Uh, so, um, uh, with that being said, I'm sure you guys would like a demonstration, and actually, I don't think there's any better demonstration than the one I originally had in my old video. So, um, you get ready for a familiar face here. Uh, so enjoy! in action here as you can see we have our little ward designed up like this let's put this uh, ward to the test here shall we uh, we have just invited in a six person emergency to the ward so if anything is going to put this room through its paces and uh, see how it handles a crowd here uh, that will be this as you can see two changing rooms uh, double the changing speed they have to get changed before they can get into bed uh, we also have um, um, set two nurses to work here so you can see one is on their station here one's walking around um, and now once the once the patients are changed and ready they go to the beds the nurses go to the front of the beds and again double barreled patient servicing one nurse invites them to the bed the other gets the other to the bed like so and it's quick and easy access for everyone next two patients come in uh get themselves changed we have another person ready to rock and roll um and the other nice thing about having two nurses working in here is if one of them decides to pop off for a quick break that's not the end of the world the ward can still get serviced and boom here comes our replacement now we're back up to two nurses and they're rocking and rolling here um so see, with the beds right there, you put you to bed, put you to re bed right there. There's the redhead. Um, the other nurse put the other one to bed. And look at that. All of our emergency patients, well, except for that guy who decided to get up for some reason. Uh, all of our emergency patients are in their beds, peacefully recovering, trying to survive this emergency. So as you can see, this ward fi fires on all cylinders here. Even a VIP is coming in and giving us the double thumbs up. So I hope you guys uh, find the power ward heal uh, to, um, uh, to great effect um, to your hospitals. And again, you know, even if you're not curing ward-based diseases, it's still a great great diagnosis room because of how quickly you can churn through people as you can see here 
So, if you guys like this episode and you want to see more like it, you want to see some more quick tips, uh, go ahead and hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, uh, and hey, if you think uh, you know someone who might need this tip, eh, uh, think about uh, sharing this video with them. The more exposure, the better. Um, and that way I can bring you more tips, um, uh, t uh, so keep your eyes peeled. So, if you guys, um, uh, until next time, this has been Pinstar, signing out. See ya!